You ready? All right, as we start our pre-trip, we're going to check the approach. As we approach the bus, we're going to check for any leaking fluids underneath the bus, any mechanical problems, broken windows, anything like that, flats, nothing apparent, so I'm going to open the hood. Okay, the components we're going to check on the engine is the alternator. We're going to check the alternator, make sure it's secure, bolts are tight. We're going to look at the wiring, make sure it's secure, no frayed wires. What runs this alternator is the fan belt. You want no more than one half to three quarters play in it. The next thing we're going to look at is the power steering pump. Make sure it's not leaking or anything. We're going to check all of our connections and our hoses. We're going to check the radiator. You never want to open it when it's hot. you got a sight glass here that tells me it's full. Here's a windshield washer fluid. You want to check all your connections, your hoses. Make sure there's no leaks. Everything looks good on this side. We're going to come over here on the other side. We're going to check the oil, make sure it's got sufficient oil. We're going to look at the water pump right here, right there's the water pump. There's a belt that drives it, again, no more than one half to three quarter inch of travel. We're going to check our upper and our lower radiator hoses, making sure there's no leaks. We're going to check our air compressor. This is our air compressor right here. Cut in on it is 100, the cut out is 125. This one here is gear driven. This component right here is the air governor. It allows the air compressor to cut in at 100 and cut out at 125. We're going to look at our air lines, look at all the lines, all the electrical lines, make sure everything is in good shape, no apparent leakage, no wires rubbing together. We're going to look at our power steering reservoir. We'll check it to make sure there's power steering fluid in it. We're going to check the hoses, make sure they're connected, no apparent leaks. Look at our steering column shaft here, no movement. The steering box here, check our nuts, make sure they're tight, no leaks on the steering power steering box. Next thing we're going to do is look at the steering linkage. You got one, two, the third one's down here, which is a tie rod, tie rod ends. What we're looking for is to make sure the nuts are on, cotter keys are in place. No apparent movement, nuts, carter keys, down on the bottom, you're going to look at both sides, at the tie rod, which is down here, you're going to look for the nuts, make sure the carter keys are in, make sure your bolts are good and tight. Next thing we're going to do is look at the spring, the spring mount, which is right here, make sure there's no movement, the bolts are tight, look at the rear spring mount, back in the back here, there's another one in the back. We're going to check it out, make sure it's secure, all the bolts are tight. Next thing we're going to do is look at the spring. You don't want any missing, broken, or cracked springs. You're going to look at your U-bolts here to make sure they're tight, no apparent movement. The next thing we're going to do is look at the shock. Make sure the mounts on it are good and tight, no apparent movement there. Check the shock itself, make sure there's no fluid leaking from it, it's not dented or damaged. Next thing we're going to do is look at this airline. You don't want it frayed or cracked or anything. Listen for air leaks. Then you're going to check your air chamber. Your air chamber is the V-clamps on here. The, the V-bolts, the V-clamps are in good shape. They're tight. This attached to the slack adjuster. With the brakes released, you shouldn't be able to pull this more than one half inch. Brake chamber. Next thing we're going to do is look in here and we're going to look at our brake line. Our brake line should be more, no more than quarter inch. If less than a quarter inch, you don't want to take it. You want to check your brake drum. Look down in here for any heat cracks. Any heat cracks, any oil, any sandy buildup or anything that could cause you 
difficulty. Next thing we're going to do is go look at our rim. We're going to look at the rim on the inside. Make sure it's not dented. Look at the outside rim. Make sure it's not dented. No wells on it other than the factory well. We're going to check our tire. We're going to check the side walls on the outside and inside of the tire. No cuts, gouges, or bulges. We check the tread depth. At least two thirty seconds of uh, correction. At least four thirty seconds of tread depth on the front tire. The inflation on this tire is 110 PSI. We carry 100 PSI. Go check your lug nuts. Make sure they're tight. If they're not, you'll see a rust build up around them. Or if it's been recently driven, it may be shiny around here. We don't want that. We want the lug nuts tight. Front hub oil seal, we're going to check it. Make sure these bolts are tight and no uh, oil coming through them. As we walk down the side of the bus, we're going to check our mirrors, check our lights, our glass. Make sure they're in good shape. Our marker lights, you got red on the front, uh, red on the rear, amber in the front. We're going to check our battery box. Our battery box, we want to make sure the battery is securely mounted. Make sure the wires aren't frayed or touching metal. If this is vented, if this is uh, old fashioned batteries, you're going to have vent caps. You want to make sure they're all in place. This one is a maintenance free battery. It's securely mounted. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look under the vehicle. Under the vehicle, I'm looking here at the frame, all the way down. Make sure all the bolts are good and tight. All your cross members in there are, are in, in place. No pair of movement. I'm looking at the drive line, looking at it all the way down, making sure you're Carry bearings in place and it's not tore up. Making sure the U-bolt, U-clamp, is around the drive line. No dents or anything on the drive line. Next thing I'm doing is I'm looking at the exhaust system. Making sure that the exhaust system is in place. All the hangers are in there. There's no black sooty buildup which would indicate any leaks. As we're going down the side of the bus, I'm looking at my glass. My clearance light up here, my reflectors, making sure they're not faded out, making sure they're not broken, cracked, or even missing. As we get back to the back of the bus, we'll look under it one more time. Okay, back here, I can see the front spring mount, the spring, no missing, cracked, or broken springs. The rear of the bus has no spring mount, it's air ride. But I'm going to look at the shock. The shock's in good shape. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my air lines going to my air chamber. They're not frayed or anything. Here's your air line going down to the brake chamber right here. This has got a dual system on it. Again, you're going to look at the slack adjuster on it. Making sure there's no more than one inch of travel. I'm going to look at my brake shoes, my brake drums. My brake shoes should have at least a quarter inch of lining. Anything less would be bad. Looking at my brake drum for heat cracks, any oil, any contaminants in there that would cause a problem with braking. I'm going to look at my rim. Make sure it's not dented. And the next thing I'm going to do is look at my tires. My inside and outside of both tires, dual tires. All the side walls look good. At least two thirty seconds of tread. Your inflation is 100 PSI. This has bud wheels on it so there's no spacer. There was no foreign material in between the duels. I'm going to look at my lug nuts. Make sure they're tight. My axle flange gasket right there. Make sure the bolts are tight. No oil is leaking down here. Check my mud flaps. They're in good shape. Look at my glass again as we walk down the bus. Checking the bus glass, make sure it's in good shape. Check the lenses, make sure they're all in place. Check the reflector. That it's there, it's not faded or cracked. The back of the bus. We'll check all of our light lenses. Making sure they're all in place. I'm going to open up the rear door.
it's locked, but I'll have to unlock it. You open it up from the back to make sure it opens freely. You've got rust surface lenses on the bottom. Up at the top up here, you've got smooth surface lenses. Everything looks good. As we walk down this side of the bus, we're going to continue looking at the reflectors, the glass, and your lenses. At this time, we'll check the fuel compartment. Make sure the cap is in place. No apparent leaks. We're going to look under the bus. We're going to look at the fuel tank, which is inside this fuel cage. It appears to be securely mounted to the fuel cage. No apparent leaks. The fuel cage right here is securely mounted to the frame. I'm looking at this frame back here. Looking at all the cross members. Everything seems to be tight. As we walk on down here, I'm going to check this side of the rear suspension. Again, I'm going to check your spring mount. Make sure the bolts are tight. Check the spring right here, making sure it's secure. No broken, missing, or cracked springs. I'm going to look at my brake chamber back here. You got dual system, making sure the V clamps are in place and secure. No apparent damage. Again, we'll check the slack adjuster back here in the back, making sure there's no more than one inch of travel with the brakes released. I'm going to look at my shock. It's mounted securely, no apparent leaks. I'm going to look at my brake shoes and brake drums. Brake shoes, you're looking for at least a quarter inch of, of uh, brake uh, lining on it. On the brake drum, you're looking for any sand, oil, Anything that could cause a brake failure. You can look at your wheels on the rims. Make sure they're not dented. No, it hadn't been welded on other than the factory weld. This one here again, like I said, is bud wheel, so there's no spacer. <coughs> I'm going to check my white wall, my side walls. No cuts, gouges, or bulges on both tires. Tread depth back here is 230 seconds, at which time the inflation on this is 110 psi. We carry 100 pounds of pressure. I'm going to check my lug nuts, making sure they're tight. Check my axle flange gasket, make sure the bolts are tight, no leakage. You'd see a pull of oil down here if it was leaking. This one does have equalizers on it, which maintains pressure in both tires. Okay, we're going to look at our clearance light and our reflector. Look at the side of the bus and the glass. It's in good shape. We're going to come down here in midways. Again, I'm going to look under the bus. Okay, I'm going to look at the frame. Make sure that all the bolts are tight, all the cross members in place. Nothing appears to be wrong. And the bus is mounted securely to the frame. <coughs> here I can see my exhaust a lot better. I'm looking at my exhaust system right here, making sure the clamps are in place, they're not broken. Looking at my muffler and everything else, no black sooty built up, which would indicate a leak. I'm looking at my drive line, I'm looking at my carrier bearings, making sure they're in place. If one was seized up, you would see this all tore out. There's no dents in the drive line that could cause a vibration. I'm looking at my U-bolts are in place. In case something should happen and separated, it wouldn't fall to the ground. Everything looks good. At this time, we come to the front tire. Again, I'm looking at my front spring hanger, my rear spring hanger, making sure it's in good shape. Check my spring. No broken, cracked, or missing springs. Check my U-bolts. Make sure they're tight. Checking my shock. The mounts are in good shape. The shock's not dented. No apparent leakage from them. Check my airline. Make sure it's not frayed or cracked. It's in good shape. Check my air chamber. My V clamps to make sure it's tight. It's not about corroded or about to fall off. Could cause a failure. Again, you want no more than one inch of travel on your slack adjuster with the brakes released. At this time, I'll look at my brake lines. 
my brake linings. Here's my brake linings. You want no more uh, than a quarter inch of lining. Anything less is inoperative. Looking at my brake drum to make sure there's no oil, sand, or any any grit in there that would cause a brake failure. Looking at my my wheel and my outer sidewall of my tire. Looking at this side of the wheel to make sure it's not dented and there's no uh, no wells on it other than the factory well. Check this side for the side walls. You don't want any cuts, gouges, or bulges. 430 seconds of tread depth. Inflation is 110. We carry 100 PSI. We'll check our lug nuts. Make sure they're tight. If there's rust around this lug nut right here, it would in indicate it's loose. Or it could be shiny if it's been driven recently. We're going to check our hub oil seal. Make sure it's secure. No oil puddles down here so it's not leaking. At this time, we'll close the hood. As I close my hood, I'm going to check all my mirror mounts. I'm going to check my mirror mounts, make sure they're tight. Latch this side. Check this mirror mount, make sure it's tight. Okay, while I'm out here, we've looked at the lenses. I'm going to look at the windshield to make sure there's no cracks, anything like that, damage to it. Alright, as we go inside, I'm going to check the opening, the door, make sure the door opens freely. Before we go inside, I'm going to look at the mat. The mat should be secure, should be loose. If it was loose, it could trip a kid, they could hurt himself. Check the handrail. Make sure it's tight and secure. As we come inside the bus, this time I will turn the key on. We'll go to the back of the bus. We'll check our seats. Make sure they're mounted securely. Check our rear door. You'll notice the buzzer came on. So one of the safety features. While I'm back here, I'm going to look at my rear fire extinguisher. Make sure it's in the green and it's serviceable. Look at my triangles. My triangle flares to make sure they're there in case of emergency. Check my seats again. This bus is equipped with four emergency exit windows. At which time, if you raise the handle, a buzzer will sound. Again, we've got two roof hatches, one in the front and one in the rear. I'll crack this handle and a buzzer should sound. The other safety features on this bus include a front fire extinguisher. Your front fire extinguisher is located here. You will make sure it's in the green and serviceable. We've got a first aid kit which is in, and last but not least, we want to make sure the driver's seat belt is operational. Okay, it is. At this time, I'll start the bus. This allows my air pressure to build up. While we're doing that, we'll check our switches. This here is the heated mirror, the defroster fan, high and low, left heater, high and low, defroster, high and low, this one here is a passenger heater, high and low, right heater, high and low, window defrosters, high and low, I'll close my door. <coughs> this is my student loading lights. Checking my indicator light. It's on. I open my door. Red one comes on. We'll check my interior light. They're on. 
check my driver's dome light it's on check my strobe light turn it on we use that on every trip you all automatically turn it on on the trip we're going to check our wipers high and low wiper high and low and wiper fluid okay at this time we're going to check our oil pressure the oil is in good shape we just started the bus <coughs> but it should be up to about 180 at normal operating temperature we're kicking out about 14 volts which is good Check the RPM, check the odometer, the speedometer, enough fuel, make sure there's enough fuel for your route, transmission temperature should be about 200, our air pressure is built up, this is our cruise control, set and resume, this is our RPM indicator, that raises it, that lowers it, our headlights and our panel lights, bright and dim. Okay, at this time I'm going to shut the bus off. I'm going to release the brake. We'll chalk the wheels. Make sure the bus doesn't move. Now, now I'm going to take and turn the key back on. I'm going to step on the brake until it settles. I'm going to wait for one minute. <coughs> Excuse me. No more than two PSI loss in one minute. Any more than that, the bus is not serviceable. Okay, we're going to stay in hell. Now, at this time, I'm going to start pumping my brakes down. At about 60 PSI, there should be a light on. The buzzer is already on. So when I pump down to about 60 PSI, the light came on. Now then, as we pump on down, this park brake will pop out anywhere from 20 to 40 PSI. We'll continue pumping it down until the brain br uh, spring brake pops out. It did. So that tells me that the air function on this bus, the air brake portion of the bus is in good shape. I'm going to restart my bus. Let my air bell back up. my mirrors 
my left convict, uh, concave, convex mirror you should see across the front of the bus and down the side. With the right mirror you should see the same thing in front of the bus and down the side. You, on the west coast mirrors we got two mirrors. One's flat you should be able to see 250 feet behind you with the door closed you should be able to see on the bottom mirror down the side of the bus and see your rear duals. On the driver's side again we're going to look at the mirror this mirror on the top you should see clearly 250 feet behind you the bottom mirror you should be down the side of the bus and your rear duel. My rear view mirror is properly adjusted and again you should see 250 feet behind you through the back glass. It's always good to keep your back, ga back glass clean due to the fact uh, safety. Alright, at this time we're going to start the bus Turn our strobe light on, our headlights on, we're going to check left turn signal, right turn signal, hazards, high beam, check all your lighting indicators inside. At this time I'm going to take, activate my student lights, I will get out of the seat, Walk to the back of the bus, open the rear door, and check the yellow lights. Okay, they're on. They're operational. You can look at your yellow lights in the front mirrors. <coughs> to make sure they're operational. See in the mirror that they're operational. When I open up this door, <coughs> my crossway guard came out and I could see it in the mirror. Look at my mirror down here, I can see my stop sides came out on the front and the rear. I can see my red lights flashing in the front. We'll get out and walk around the bus to make sure all the other lights are working at this time. Operate on the low beam only. signal and see it in the mirror. We'll have to get out, go back and visually check the right turn signal, then get out and visually check the left turn signal on the rear of the bus. This concludes my pre-trip of this bus.